I saw something quite spectacular this morning. I slept in a van last night so I can wake up at first light and photograph that bothy. And to my delight when I opened the window, I could see a stag just stood there. I think it was calling out, I'm not quite sure. It was a fair distance away from the van, but I grabbed my vlogging camera, stuck it out the window and I captured this footage. so excited and when I was lying there I could hear a little bit of rain falling on the van I could hear a river beside me and I could hear stags calling out to each other and it's the rutting season here in Scotland and this part of the world deer and stag are everywhere especially when you drive at night it's really quite spectacular as you're driving your headlights catch them you've got to be very careful because they are a bit a bit skitty so sometimes they run into the road, sometimes they run away from the road. Um, but just, I just had to sit there and absorb it and take it all in for five or ten minutes before I ventured out of the van to grab my camera and carry on shooting for the day. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. I am in one of the most scenic places in the whole of Scotland in my opinion. It is definitely the prettiest loch and that there is the nicest bothy to photograph in my opinion. I came here, I think I was up here in January and we photographed this particular area. Uh, we spent a good couple of hours here but I've decided to come back. Eh? because I want to see that again. Oh, it's just awesome. But B, I want to challenge myself because it's good to do that. I want to challenge myself to see if I can grab something a little bit different. Before I grab something a little bit different, it's really important though that you grab the A1 shots because every time you come here, something will be different. I mean, in January, for instance, we could see all the mountains in the background. Today, you can't and they were all snow capped. And today, I'm guessing they're not, although I can't really tell because I can't see them. So what I'm gonna do is vlogging camera in hand and I'm gonna go for a big sweep of the place. Uh, I'm gonna look at angles that you don't see online. I'm gonna look for, uh, you know, maybe oddball angles. Let's look down here. We've got some oddball trees. We've got trees up there. We've got a mountain top and a river up here. So I'm gonna look for all those different aspects that maybe I could put in the foreground to add a little bit of interest something just maybe that'll make my picture a little bit different but even if it doesn't even if it's not as good as the original it doesn't matter a I've done well enjoying myself and B who cares I'm only doing this for me anyway who cares Right, so this is the challenge. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I never do this. Normally I get so excited, I just take pictures and then take more pictures. But because I've been here before, I'm going to scout the place out. I'm gonna grab my vlogging camera that's got a lens on it, at 16 to 45. Uh, on a crop sensor, that's roughly 24 to 70, roughly. Well, I shoot with my 24 to 105 mil lens all the time anyway. I never go wider than 24 mil. So this will give me a good, um, idea of what my pictures could look like when I'm out and about with my big camera. 
I'll wander around and I'll take little video snippets of what I think potentially could be uh, a good image and then I'll show you the pictures that I actually took and let's see if you agree with my favourite compositions from around this lock. So the idea of this video is how to challenge yourself when revisiting the same locations. Now, the Bothy and the lake are always likely to be the main focal point of interest in the image. So all I'm doing is trying to find something in the foreground that I think might complement the overall feel of the image. I didn't take any pictures of my vlogging camera, just video, but I'll take snapshots from the video just so you have an idea of what I was looking for while searching for compositions. I carried on looking for alternative locations for about another hour or so. Sadly, the heavens opened again and again. In the end, I had to abort the location. There is no way I was going to give up. So I headed off to other locations and returned that evening for another stopover just so I could repeat the same process. Things, on the other hand, didn't quite go to plan. Yesterday, I started this challenge around the Bothy and the heavens opened and I waited for it to stop raining and waited and then waited some more and it clearly wasn't going to stop anytime soon. I've been here at that time for quite, quite a while so I decided I'm going to find someone else to photograph and I'll come back in the morning and grab another sunrise because today, out of the past week, was meant to be the better weather. Fine. So I headed off, went down to an amazing beach, took some very, I think, very nice pictures anyway. And then late last night I came back, packed up at the same place so I could sleep overnight and wake up fresh as a daisy to a lovely sunrise. That was the plan. When I got here, the worst thing that could possibly have happened, happened. There was a whole bunch of guys, two tents, not only were they camping, but they were camping right against the Bothy wall. Now, I don't have a problem with that. I don't own the Bothy, I don't own this area. This area is available for everybody. It's just, when I say the worst thing, I'm just talking about timing for me, that's all. Oh well, there's nothing I could do. I just had a cup of hot chocolate, as you do, and went to bed, woke up this morning. The sunrise was okay. The guys obviously were still here. They made breakfast and eventually disappeared. Um, fine, not re like I say, it's not really a problem. And they left the place nice and tidy, which is great. If only there were, you know everybody in the world was like that, eh? Um, so that's it. But now I'm back. Oh, I'm looking out over this loch, and I keep seeing. A massive great big fish jumping out of the water you got no chance of capturing something like that no chance 
but that's the third or fourth time I've seen it now in the past hour that I've been sat here. So this lock must contain huge fish and probably a great deal of them. Right, anyway, stop your babbling, Gary. Let's crack back on with the challenge because I've got more places to visit today. I meant to mention earlier on as well, when I mentioned the fish, every now and again, this massive great big fish just keeps leaping out of the water. So I was taking some pictures and I put my camera onto the loch <laughs> for 30 minutes just to see if I was lucky enough to capture a jump in and it didn't jump at all. I switched it off, I put the camera back in the bag and the bloody thing jumped again. Unbelievable. But I tell you what though, it's so still and it's so quiet. I could still hear the deer rutting off into the hills or in the mountain top somewhere. It's a fascinating, fascinating sound because it's just raw nature and it's if you come to a place like this and get nothing from it, it's worth it just for that. I mean, last night when I was lying in the van, I just opened the window and stuck my head out the window and just listened, probably around about midnight time, and it was everywhere. The noise, the rutting was everywhere. There were deers fairly close to the van as well. I couldn't film it, and I very much doubt the sound would, uh, or you'd be able to pick up the sound on this, this microphone, but just just that alone the experience is just second to none second to none thankfully the weather played ball and I was able to carry on with my challenge I'll show you the best of the alternative location pictures in a couple of minutes but in the meantime I've got a little housekeeping to do come on don't tell me you don't do this as well If money was no object, I'd be living there. What a fantastic, fantastic house. I don't know if it's a hotel or a, or a house, but look at that. A river probably teeming with salmon. Not that I'm a fisherman in any way, shape or form. And up there, that house to die for. If money was no object, when you came on one of my workshops, if you did, that's where you'd be meeting and greeting me on a morning. Ooh, oh, the other half live, eh? And while I was taking some B-roll, I just noticed something really, really cool. Come and take a look at this. How awesome is this? I might have to get me big camera. How many people are moaning now? 
I haven't got HP. 